Hi everybody. Um, I've been uh, putting this off for quite a while. I've uh, been intending to do it for quite some time. Um, and uh, the last few days unfortunately have been difficult for a lot of reasons. Um, again, well, as you might have seen with my other video that I put up uh, about my cat, um, he was the, yeah, the reason I chose the name for the channel. Um, and he passed away just a couple of days ago. Uh, I set the channel up really to document my mental health journey um, and I've sort of avoided talking about it for uh, since, since I started but um, I think now's a good a place as any and uh, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't devastated that my best pal that I've had for 10 years passed away in my arms um, a couple of days ago um, but uh, next week I start the Pennine Way um, I'm doing the whole thing, or trying to do the whole thing, um, over uh, around 21 days, I think it is, I've, I've planned, with the tent, a um, couple of b and a few hostels in there, um, and I've always had problems with my mental health, uh, and um, I've been receiving help from a fantastic veterans organisation called Who Dares Cares. Um, they've, they've been helping me out recently and I'm doing this, the trip on the Pennine Way as a fundraiser for them to give a little bit back. They were actually out to doing the West Island Way this week. They completed it yesterday, I think, and uh, ironically, uh, I'm just out on the West Highland Way this morning at uh, the very start at Mugduck. Um, but uh, I've got a, a Just Giving page going. I'll leave a link below, and I'd be ever so grateful, uh, even if you can't spare a few pennies, just to give it a share and uh, raise a bit of money for this fantastic organisation. The Hawthorns are looking fabulous at the moment. I'm just uh, walking up to Carbeth on the, uh, the Carbeth huts on the West Highland Way. Um, But uh, yeah, the Pennine Way starting in Edale, walking north. Um, finishing in Kirk Yetham 21 days later, hopefully. Uh, if I get to Tan Hill, I'll have cracked it. I've got a few long days before then. Um, but uh, once I get to Tan Hill, I've got maybe four or five nice short days, sort of eight to ten miles. Uh, it's going to be hard, it'll be the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm expecting it to be tougher than the Southern Upland, uh, excuse me, Southern Upland Way, which was a real hard nut. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, there's probably going to be blood. There's definitely going to be snorkers and... After the last few days, I would probably expect there'll be a few tears as well. Uh, but in a way, it's good timing. 
Yeah, you know, it's not good timing. But uh, to be away from home for three weeks uh, and there's a void there that is just so huge already. Um, so hopefully the, uh, this hike can be pretty cathartic but I'll pop a link to the website for Who Dares Cares in the description as well um, so you can have a look at what they're all about but uh, in a nutshell they're about getting guys with PTS out interacting with each other and, and a bit of exercise uh, they're, they're really focused on that and they're growing as well there's, there's groups popping up around the country um, and they're, they are really helping folk uh, they've, they've helped me quite a bit over the last few months um, and for that I'm extremely grateful uh, I don't think I've ever been up here at this time of year, sort of midsummer looks quite different with all the vegetation out loads of wildflowers, Hawthorne spectacular I can see why folk want to be up here Anyway, thanks for listening and uh, I'll hopefully see you on the Pennine Way.